<laughs> I don't know why I can't use the energy or whatever, but it's fun to throw the different things. Ah, yes, still one. Why have you come, Eos? I was sent to learn about your powers. We are the wind, the air, life itself. Without us, your fields would die and your breath would cease. We sweep up dust and sand and move it across the land. Gather water and cause it to rain. Without air, there can be no fire. Our power is greater than any other. Huh. I'm sensing a pattern here. Please, I'm more powerful than any elemental. You're nothing but hot air. I can sense your power, child, but you are insolent. No one can stand up to the power of wind. I bet fire is more powerful. It sides with dragons. I'll show you. Hmm. Yes. Charming. I like that she throws one of these objects here as a piggy bank. I think that was like a vase. Uh, what else we got? That was just a rock. Ow. Um... Oh, that was disappointing. Ouch. Another immobilized with kick. That's nice. Oh, I missed. There we go. Alright, got him. Greetings, Dark One. <laughs> I like how they each have a different way to describe her. Why have you come, Dragon Child? I've come to learn about your powers. Earth and wind were of no help to me. We are the light and the heat. We are the sun and the reflection off the moon. Well, yeah, it's just reflecting light off, but it's never mind. We melt earth, boil water, and eat wind. We are truly the most powerful. Man would not survive without us. Dragon would be powerless without us on their breath. Wait, dragons use you to give, give you purpose. Without us, you're nothing but ashes. You are the most powerful. Dragon would be felled without us on its breath. Hey, you realize that there are dragons in this world, in the world of this game, that don't use fire breath, right? That's not true. You're just as delusional as earth and wind. I'll show you. Ah, yes. It's to earth, wind, and fire are all delusional. Ah, 35. That's pretty snazzy. Hello, solid one. <laughs> what brings you here, Aqui? I have been to Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh, hey, there's the reference. None of them were any help. Ow. I wish to learn about your powers. Water is life. It erodes Earth, douses fire, and permeates air. Can't you guys just get along? Put aside your ego, man. You all need... Not this again. I'm sorry. Each of you claims to be so powerful, but none of you are as good as me. If you have nothing to teach me, then why am I here? This is a waste of time. I mean, in her defense, yeah. They all do seem to have a bit of an ego on them. You presume to be more powerful than water, arrogant child, but, you know, Nathera also has an ego on her. <laughs> and being put in her place with the grounding there did not help it in, 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 at all. Where's the uh, energy attack actually? Like, oh, I should probably like use my base attack since 
the water would be weak to the lightning to some extent. You did what? <laughs> I didn't do anything. They were all mean. All they talked about was how great they were. They didn't have anything to teach me. They are all great. Even though each element believes it's autonomous in its autonomous power, their true greatness comes with working together. By their power combined, they are our world. They are lore. They're not so powerful. I beat them all by myself. I didn't even need my magic. Elementals are very sensitive creatures. They're not used to humans directly interacting with them on the level that you did. I, I suspect you surprised them more than anything. Your confrontation with them will not be forgotten, though. I fear for adventurers and their dealings with the elementals in this. Thanks, Nathera. It's not my fault. No, it is mine. You weren't ready for this yet. I'm sorry, Nathera, but I cannot give you access to your powers yet. You have much to learn, but you promised. Bold. I said if you did well in your tasks. Your confrontations have caused much strife here. As I said before, you have much to learn. Complete quests. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't know if I get control of my own character back for this one or not. <laughs> uh, potion mastery. I do believe that would be me now, so I'm gonna real quick equip all my stuff again. potions mixed up, but I have other things to do. Look, I've got lots of things to work on. You should work. You work on these potions. I've enchanted the reagents so that you, even you should be able to handle it. They'll grow in the or, or, they'll glow in the order you need to mix them. Just watch them and or just watch and then use them in the same order. If you get the pointer in the red, you're done. You only get so many attempts per batch. If you run out of chances, the potion will be ruined and you'll have to start over. With every correct mix, you get one more attempt on the next batch, but if you mess up, you lose attempts. Try not to mess up, otherwise I'm just going to have to stand out in front asking people to help me get herbs forever. Ah, yes. Rather than collect them yourself. Alright, bum, bum, bum. Da 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 da. Yeah, this isn't very hard, since, you know, it's basic old Simon Says. Oh, I win. Alright, sweet. I wasn't too sure about that last one. You've managed to make a bottle of green smoking stuff that, N that Nathera seems to be happy with. Oh boy, gargoyle's tear. A tear-shaped rock was found on a gargoyle's cavern. Doesn't appear to have any special properties, but it is pretty shiny. Try selling it. It's my inventory, I feel. No. I could try selling it. If no, no, I've got time. <clears throat> All right. The 
the storm. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm busy and I don't have time to deal with you too. I'm finally stocked with potions and ready to get my powers back. Leave. Leave? Question mark. <laughs> Quest settings. Hey, uh. Hey, Cicero, how are you? Opaque today. <laughs> what? I. You. Um. Oh, man. This was early. That didn't even have a sound effect. What was that? It looks like it came from your place. I'm not sure. It wasn't one of mine. Why? Why would you make an explosion? When I moved in, Warlick asked if I wanted to be in charge of laundry, bills, or something else. I chose explosions. <laughs> I mean, I would choose explosions, too, if I could. Oh. Since it wasn't one of mine, and I'm guessing it's not one of yours, maybe you should run up in there and check on Warlick. Ah, oh, yay. I get to fight his dirty laundry again. Laundry gone. Six, that's not bad. Now yeah, we'll hit up with this too. Bugbear. This thing, this seems, or this, wow god, I can't talk. This thing seems a lot more vicious than it really is. Like its face looks like it's about ready to bite your soul out of your body. And it's got like stegosaurus spines. Ow. But it's also like just chilling out with the dirty laundry monsters. Agitated orb. I like that it's coming off of like the stand that you see Cicero's orbs just chilling out on. Mmm, nice. the shining thing there doesn't matter. Unless, yeah, I guess it's not a potion refill either. No. I don't think I'm too far away from the end now, though. Um, that's not good. Give me my magic back now, old man. Remind me to teach you the value of patience next. I think you've probably been trying for a while. Give me my dragon magic back or I'll take yours. <laughs> you just messed her up with that... Threw her right into that pillar. You could not handle the power I possess, apprentice. <laughs> oh my god, that sounded like a threat. <laughs> Liar, you do not know what I can do. Oh. Oh no, that's the thing we made for her. <laughs> that's not good. Holy crud, Warlick looks kind of sinister from that angle. I know more than you think. You still have much to learn. Screams in rage. 
as in it's a rage that fuels the scream, or like rage is the language in which she is screaming. Uh, oh no, we're an accessory to murder. <laughs> okay, the facey. Oh, and then he turned into smoke. That's less funny now. And she stole his staff and his orb. It's messed up, lady. Well, that's not cool, though. Warlick. Warlick's a cool dude. You can't just kill him. You think it's a little weird that he just kind of stood there and let that uh, potion hit him? The blue mage is dead. Witness the rise of the purple mage, Hunter. Um, duh, I'd rather not. Warlock had no idea how to properly use his power. Earth, wind, fire, all will bow to my will. I think I skipped over water there. Do you hear me, lords? Your power is nothing to mine. Where is your light now, crusaders? Oh, I guess they did hear you. Man, don't throw down gauntlets that are going to cause natural disasters. I don't appreciate that. No, you killed him. How could you? It was easy, hero. You helped immensely. Thanks for making the potion, by the way. No, I've been to the future. I know Warlock's there. I s okay, I had this question in my head earlier when I recorded this the first time the other day, and it never checked. I did the, I did the Titans of Battle on Quest, didn't I? They come out of a phone booth, and we go to the future. We have a little... You, you can't have killed him. Oh, are you sure it was him? I mean, that's a decent point, but there's no way your ego would have you pretend to be him rather than taking credit for whatever nefarious deeds you're doing as yourself. But I, I have to stop you. I just killed one of the most powerful mages in existence, mortal. What do you think you could do to me? I don't know, but I have to try. If I were you, I'd be hurrying home now, hero. Otherwise, your poor little falcon reach will have to stand alone against the elementals that are coming. What? I've issued a challenge to the avatars of the elemental lords are on their way. They'll pay for being mean to me. They'll pay for being mean to you. I'm glad to see that you grew up in the past 200 years. Oh, man. I'd much rather have you alive defending Falcon Reach so I can have something to rule over after the destruction. But, no buts, be gone. I have a whole new plane of power to explore before the Avatars make their appearance. Oh, great. Dragon's Rage 3. I mean, I'm probably not going to use it because it's, you know, staff, but I still want to see what it looks like here. Because it sounds cool. It looks kind of cool. Return to town. It, like, returns me to town for some reason, but to continue the quest, you just gotta go. You gotta keep going back to her. So it's a little weird. I don't know if I mentioned this when I came here the first time, but I really like the Elemental Foothills music. It's very serene. Uh, 
at the storm more. I think this is where I stopped. Get back to Falcon Beach. Try to save the city before it burns to the ground. Leave. Alright. So here when you hover over people, it'll tell you little things about them, so that's nice. Conan and Serenity have come to the Guardian Tower to help. Ash has sworn to protect the town from the rampaging elementals. Lady Celestia has come to town to help coordinate the war effort. Twilly and Reens are here to help heal the wounded. Let's... let's leave him alone. Yolgar has left his forge behind to come protect the tower. Grams is ready to defend with her trusty pit grinder. Alright, so that's just the, uh, um, previous quest. Alright, to the front. Um, Warlick's funeral here. <laughs> 